So at this point, I'm six months away from graduating, thinking that I have it all figured out and then this happens. What's up everybody? Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a college story that I will never forget. I got my software engineering job offer rescinded only one month before graduating. So I went to Cal Poly Pomona studying computer science and I graduated back in 2017. It felt like a very engineering focused school and that definitely showed through the career fairs that they would hold. So multiple times a year, Cal Poly would host career fairs. They would call them engineering slash high-tech career fairs and exactly how it sounds. It's just a bunch of companies, including big tech, that would show up to these events to scout new people in the field. So each company goes and sets up a booth and you can go and talk to the people that actually work there. You know, it's really good for networking and you know, especially if you're starting out in the industry, getting your resume directly in the hands of companies that you wanna work for. During the winter high-tech career fair in 2016, I decided to show up. I, you know, I was gonna be graduating in about eight months, so I felt like you know it was something I should do. I brought a bunch of resumes printed out and I passed them out to nearly every booth, talked with recruiters, engineers, managers, pretty much every role that you can imagine. And during this event, I came across a consulting agency primarily focused on data and analytics. So they asked me about my you know, experience, some school projects I did, and I just you know, gave them a resume that that way they could have it on file. The following week, I was contacted by their recruiter to start the interview process for a junior software engineering position. So over the next two weeks, I received calls from several different companies to interview as well. You know, I, since there were so many different companies at, you know, at this event, I was able to, you know, network a lot and get a lot of interviews scheduled. The interview process for this consulting agency was pretty hard, honestly. Initially, I had a phone interview with one of the engineers just discussing my resume and then I moved straight to their on-site. I still remember this day because I was super nervous. It was one of my first times ever even interviewing before, like for a software engineering position at least. They ended up putting me in a conference room, giving me a laptop with IntelliJ installed on it and they just asked me to solve three different problems and then they just left. They just left me alone in the room trying to complete these coding challenges in one hour. They also told me that I was not allowed to look up anything online, no resources at all, which honestly I find ridiculous, but you know, that's a conversation for another day. It was one easy, one medium, and one hard problem. So needless to say, I, I didn't complete all of the problems in one hour. I feel like three problems in an hour is a lot. Um, but I, I was able to fully complete the easy and medium and then I started the hard problem but just didn't complete it. So once the one hour was up, two engineers came back in and asked me to walk through my code for each solution and just run some test cases. This went on for 45 minutes where most of the time was just spent discussing what my potential solution for the hard problem would be. And I don't remember the easy or medium problem at all but I vaguely remember the hard problem being about Something with a deck of cards, a probability based problem, which yeah, that's definitely not my strong suit. Um, and that was the interview process. You know, it was pretty short, um, but definitely difficult trying to solve three problems. About a week later, I heard back from the recruiter that they would be extending an offer to me. You know, I was super happy because this was one of the first ever software engineering offers that I had received. I had been extended two other offers before this one. So in total, I had three offers that I could decide between and all of them would allow me to start right after I graduate. So, you know, this was a big decision for me at the time. And at this point, it is December of 2016 when I was extended this offer from the consulting agency. I was offered $75,000 per year and I was really ecstatic at this point. I ended up rejecting the other two offers I received and accepted this one. A month and a half later, they sent me an email asking my laptop preference. And from then on, I was just waiting to graduate and start my first software developer job. So at this point, I'm six months away from graduating, thinking that I have it all figured out 
and then this happens. Fast forward five months later in May, I received this email stating that the company was having financial issues and that it would be rescinding offers of employment to pretty much all of their locations. So I was freaking out at this point when I got this email because I was only one month away from graduation and now without a job. I had you know, rejected the other offers that I got. So at this point, I literally had nothing. And to make matters worse, there were no more career fairs happening at Cal Poly for another five months. So for the next six months, I was just stuck sending out applications online and grinding leak code. I was out of school, jobless for five months until I was able to land another software engineering job at a startup based in LA. And the funny thing is I was able to land another job right away once Cal Poly had another career fair in the winter of 2017. I did the same exact method as before. I came with printed resumes and this time I showed up with projects. So I would show the people at the booth Android apps that I had created. And using this method, I had a job a month later. Applying online proved to be a much less effective method than going in person and meeting people. However, it all worked out in the end, but this definitely was a really scary time in my life because I was wondering why I went to school for four years to get a computer science degree if no one was willing to hire me. There is one very, very important lesson that I learned from this time of my life. Always have a backup offer no matter what. Never reject all of your offers in hand until you actually start at your job. Or if you only have one offer and you accept, continue to interview until you start at the job. I can't stress this enough because at the end of the day, you need to take care of yourself first. I was out of a job for five months and I could have accepted other offers at the time. So if I had taken this advice now, I wouldn't have been jobless for five months. In the end, I'm glad that this happened because I did learn this valuable lesson. Another good thing that came out of this process was that during this time was actually when I started thinking about starting this YouTube channel. You know, during the hiatus of being jobless, my data structure and algorithm knowledge skyrocketed. I was essentially studying full time for five months. So by the end of it, I was really confident, at least in my data structure and algorithm skills. And then I was also doing projects and stuff. So, you know, it wasn't all sad, you know, it, there was a lot, I gained a lot out of it. Just try to remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish that matters. And that's it for this video. See you guys.